Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so we got our social media icons up here uh, and they look better than I thought they were gonna look. This actually doesn't look that bad with the uh, the background image, but they don't link to anything. So we need to create links. And in this video, we're gonna talk about SEO and I'm gonna show you guys a cool trick. So let's go to our index.html page. Should be, here it is, okay. So when we create links, what we need to do is we need to wrap a href tags around our image link right here. So here's our image link, just like that, in between our li tags. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a link. And this is how you do it in HTML5, XHTML, and uh, basic HTML, I guess. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we need to go ahead and send the link of our uh, what we're trying to get. So our Twitter, I think my Twitter's like HTTP, um, www dot twitter dot com forward slash. Let me see if I get this right. I think it's village. This is my Twitter park source URL, and we need to close our a tag after what we want it to link to. What did that make sense? Let me stretch this out a little bit so we can keep this all in the same line of code. Okay, great. So we have our opening link tag right here. And then we are closing it after our twitter.png picture. So let's go ahead and save this. Not the trash, not the trash. So if we scroll over this, we can see that we can click it now. So we can click it. And that's awesome. So our link tags worked, but that's not SEO friendly. <clears throat> One of the big factors, excuse me, <coughs> sorry. Oh. One of the biggest factors that Google looks at when um, ranking your site, number one, number two, or whatever page you get ranked on is average page duration. So what we just did is we took, I mean, we were on our page, but by clicking on this, we went off our page. So our timing stopped because Google, however long you're on a page, Google keeps track of it, like with a stopwatch, you know, Mississippi 1, Mississippi 2, and you want to keep people on your page as long as you can. So in order for us to get around this, what we're going to do is after our, okay, for our opening tag, for our opening link tag at the end right here, give it a space and type target equals underscore blank and save it just like that. There's no closing tag for this target thing, just add it just like that. Make sure you have this correct code. Save it. And let's reload it. Now when we click on our Twitter, it opens up in a new tab. That's how you make something up and up in a new tab or a new window. So we're still on our page. So we still have our audience. We didn't just, you know, go from one place and totally ditch them. We could still get back to our Village Park homepage, just like that. And this is a great SEO trick. It it increases your average page duration on your website. The goal for someone coming to your website is you want them to stay on it as long as possible. You want to keep your bounce rate low and your average page duration high. And this little CS or this little HTML attribute that we just did is going to keep people on our web page longer. So I'm going to set you guys up with a little quiz. You guys need to go ahead and create a href tags by yourself. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and compare them. And uh, I'll see you guys over there. All right, good luck.